<laughs> Here we go. All right. Amen. Come on, family, with me to Luke chapter 5. Luke chapter 5. Oh, I love to hear pages turning on Zoom. <laughs> Luke, Luke chapter 5. When you have it, say amen. 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 Um, I'm reading from... Amen. Reading from the New Living Translation of the Bible, um, in the Reeves family, one day, as Jesus was preaching on the shore of the Sea of Galilee, a great crowds pressed in on him to listen to the word of God. He noticed two empty boats at the water's <laughs> edge, for the fishermen had left them, and they were washing their nets. Verse 3, stepping into one of the boats, Jesus asked Simon, its owner, to push it out into the water. So he sat down in the boat, and he talked to crowds from there. And when he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, now go out where it is deeper, and let down your nets to catch some fish. Verse 5, Master, Simon replied, we worked hard all last night and didn't catch a thing. But if you say so, I'll let the nets down again. Verse 6, and this time their nets were so full, here this family, was so full of fish that they began to tear. Verse 7, a shout for help brought their partners in the other boats, and soon both boats were filled with fish on the verge of sinking. Amen. This is the word of God um, for the people of God. Listen, family, our sermonic chat. Um, Lord, prepare our hearts to receive your word. Lord, prepare our hearts. And prepare our spiritual hearing to hear your word. And Lord, help us to move from illumination to transformation to application. Amen. 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 Family, for our time together, I want to uh, preach from this topic, moving forward in the deep end. Mm. Moving forward in the deep end. Amen. Uh, family, um, you may be familiar or perhaps you're not familiar um, with the story of the toddler who fell out the bed one night. The father rushed into the room after hearing the child fall and picked him up and dried his tears and put him back to bed. And eventually, the father asked his son, what happened? What caused you to fall out of the bed? The toddler, drying his eyes even more, said, I don't know. I guess I went to sleep too close to where I got in. Family, <laughs> living on the edge is a problem, not just for this toddler but for Christians as well. Amen. Some of us, family, if truth be told, have stepped into and remained in the kiddie pool of God's grace, but have yet to experience the thrill of diving deeper in God. Family, truth oh, be right. told, um, we have gotten our feet wet, but grace, we have not yet to have the joy of having our souls soaked with the deepness All of right. mm. Amen. If that strikes a chord for you, you are in good company because diving deeper is designed for you and I. Our <laughs> desire should be the deep end and not the shallow end. We should go deeper in our private devotion time with God. Go deeper in our prayer time with God. How many of us want to go deeper? Come on. Go deeper in oh, yeah. the word of God. Yeah. Come in uh, to table talk and to Sunday school. 
times that we're living in, family, um, is causing us to go deeper in God and his word. Team Jones, um, the Lord wants all of us um, to be, watch this, y'all, submarine saints. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> y'all know about submarines. Um, submarines, they are best when they go to deeper water. We are all right, all right. <laughs> submarine saints family um dedicated to going deeper in the lord and what will help us survive troubled times is that our roots are to be deeper in in god and uh, his word family Amen. in our text today um, we have a familiar story <laughs> but i don't want us to get so familiar with it that we lose out on um, its very essence and the nuggets that's there for us. Y'all know, we know Mm -hmm. this um, story. Um, Jesus, he just got done healing folks and calling out demons in chapter four, and people are coming um, around him. I mean, you all, it's a crowd around him. And what he has done in the lives of people in chapter four, they are always uh, around him. It's a deep crowd, you all. And he's on the Sea of Galilee. And this crowd that's surrounding him, Virginia, it was so many people that he had to say, listen, I need to get (laughs) into a boat. And so he gets into this boat. He gets into um, Simon Peter's boat. And when he gets into this boat family, Uh, He turns uh, this boat into a pulpit, moves it out a little bit into the water. And as he does that, uh, he begins to preach to them. And uh, Simon Peter's on this boat. And Deacon Darrell, I love Simon Peter. Um, I love him. I I do because Simon Peter is not your typical disciple that would just do what the Lord say do (laughs) without some talk back. Virginia, he, he, he was very talking back. And they, hey, you know, the Lord told him, go, let's launch out to the deep. He goes, Simon Peter, listen, Lord, you understand. We've been out here all night, and we done cleaned these here nets that has taken us a whole lot of time, and you want us to go out in the deep water. First of all, um, Deacon King, it is daytime, and we don't fish in the daytime. Two, we don't fish in the deep. We fish along the shallow water because at night, that's when the fish come to the shallow water. You want us to do something that don't make sense, but at your word. (laughs) We'll We'll let the nets down. And Tim Jones, they let the nets down. And guess what, y'all? The fish Fish, fish. jumped into this net. And it was so many fish, family, that the nets were breaking. And they had to call their homeboys and say, listen, y'all need to come and get some of this blessing because our boat can't hold it. And family, this is when the Lord said, um, was telling Simon Peter, Simon Peter said, listen, I'm not even worthy. Um, to be in your presence. I'm paraphrasing here. And right. as a right. result of that, the Lord told the disciples, Simon Peter and his brothers, that you're not only going to catch fish, but now you're going to catch living fish. Man. Human being. Right. He calls them to be disciples. Right. Family, that's the story. Yes. Here's the sermon. Yeah. These are some lessons and some principles uh, that the Lord wants us to uh, take away on today from this nice fishing trip. Y'all ready for this? First point I want to lift to us is the instruction. The instruction. Family, verses one through three. Um, it says, one day as Jesus preaching on the shore of, of, on the, shore of the Sea of Galilee, great crowds pressed in on him to listen to the word of God. He noticed two empty boats at the water's edge for the fishermen had left them and were washing their nets. Verse three, stepping into one of the boats, um, Jesus asked Simon, its owner, to push it out into the water. So he sat in the boat 
and he taught the crowds from there. The instruction. Family, the crowd was surrounding Jesus. And they were coming to hear a word from him. Family, as I read this, I I wanted just to jump in the story, Deacon Darrell, because what awesome privilege it was for them to hear the word of God from the word of God. Amen. The word of God was giving the word of God to them. Oh, it is amazing, family. And this crowd, they were coming to hear a word from the Lord. I may mention yep. Amen. In the Amen. Chapter, yes. um, Virginia, Jesus performed yes. miracles, signs, and wonders. And if you take a sneak peek at chapter four, it didn't make you shout. And the demons, y'all, start worshiping the Lord after yes. he cast them out. Lord have mercy. It's just that powerful that after he cast them out, he worshiped, they, the demons worship him, and he had to muzzle the demon's mouth to say, shut up. Don't call me that just yet. <laughs> and family, the crowd seen this. Uh, Peter's mother-in-law getting healed from a fever, and she gets up um, Lynn, and go and start cooking in the kitchen. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ain't the Lord good? He'll get you up off your sick bed mm -hmm. and you'll go in there and feed you some egg sandwiches and different things. You understand? <laughs> That's just how. Yes, he will. That's just how he works. Mm -hmm. um, I just said. Family attracted the crowd to follow him. Family. Um, can I tell you something? In 2022, he's still doing miracle signs and wonders. Yes. Amen. He has not stopped. And, and that's what's attracting us. Good God of my, I feel this, y'all. That's what's attracting us to follow him. Yes, that's now, right. This is an exciting moment because they were closing in on Jesus to hear. God's word. <sighs> Here it is, family. Grace, you didn't know you was going to be in this sermon because you said something last week. These people was hungry mm, for the word of God. They was yeah. hungry to hear Jesus. And the implication was, family, uh, they could not hear him well, Virginia, because now this was a good problem. It was a good problem. It was too many people there. So Jesus understood that the word had to get out. So he said, let me get in one of these boats. Mm. He turned a boat, you all, into a pulpit, moved out right. into the water. Now, I know you nosy like I'm nosy. Uh, Jesus, why would you get in a boat? And go out into the water to preach to this crowd. I'm glad y'all nosy like me because I had to go and find out some things. I'm digging Daryl. Um, water amplifies the voice. And, and so when you go on water, it amplifies the voice so that you don't need a microphone. All you need to do is lift your voice and the water will carry the message. Little boys and sing. Uh, Luke has already caused us uh, to grasp a subtle point here that he's communicating in this gospel. You all, he's writing to uh, Theophilus and Theophilus and other readers that's reading this. And family, since Jesus mm -hmm. is the Son of God, we need to listen to what he has to say. Notice, family, yeah. they did not come together for entertainment and comfort. Team Jones, they did not have smoke screens and praise dancers and um, elaborate choirs and all of that. They didn't come for that. They came to praise God and to hear 
his word. How many of us is like this crowd right now? Uh, yeah, I come not for theatrics, but I come for theology. I come to hear God's word. Yes. Family, Amen. we cannot Amen. come yes. for any other reason. We are not coming to hear a fancy story or some drama or some movies. No, we must have a desire like the crowd to press in. To hear God's word. Family, can I put this commercial right here? I know y'all shouting in y'all house right here. God's word is important to us. God's word, the air that we breathe, God's word is important to the believer. Family, um, we live in a day, family, where people are using God's word and then they put in a little sugar with it. Mm. They, they, they feel they got to add something to it. They got to put some uh, spiritual nutrient sweet mm. and uh, some domino sugar. And um, they, they put a little <laughs> honey in it because they feel that people can't handle. Yeah, you can't handle the truth. But watch this, y'all. We need God's word in its purest form. There yes, cannot yeah, be yes. no substitute to this. We need God's word. Family, <sighs> the pressing of the crowd gets to the point where Jesus is at the edge of the lake. All right. Family, can I put this right here? I know y'all going to laugh at this because I laughed when the Lord gave it to me. Jesus <laughs> went off on a deep end in a good way. <laughs> he said, I, I need... Uh, to get in one of these boats on the shore. And notice, family, that he didn't just pick any boat. He got in the boat of Simon Peter. Mm. And this was the boat, Team Jones, where a failure happened a night before. Ooh, I'm going to show y'all something. The Lord showed it to me. Jesus will step into that in which you failed at. Now, right. <laughs> he stepped into um, the place, Sister Virginia, where they fell at the night before. You know, they they you know, the, the text told us oh, yeah. okay. that they fished all night and didn't catch nothing. That's right. Mm. Amen. That's right. The fishermen, you all, they were there cleaning their nets. And can I put a little history right here for you? Um, their nets were not just your nets you go to Dick's Sporting Goods and all that no these were linen nets that had little pockets in it and mom they they will take their time and clean each pocket watch this y'all because if they did not clean the nets right the fish will not go into a dirty net mm. the, the fish had enough sense to know your net not clean enough for me Family, family. Can I put this oh. commercial here? Um, the reason why uh, some fishes have not jumped in nets of some churches is because the net's not clean enough. <laughs> yeah, it, it's the word of God that keeps the nets clean. All right, all right. <laughs> you know, they, they were taking their time, nigga, there and cleaning these nets, and they listened <laughs> to Jesus. As they're cleaning the nets. The net. <sighs> and Jesus gets in Simon Peter's boat and asks Simon to push it out just a little bit. <laughs> you all, uh, faith will cause us to do that. <laughs> just to go out on the deep end a little bit. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just a little bit. <laughs> just go out. <laughs> yes, a little bit. Virginia, aren't you glad? Uh, yeah, when the Lord tells us to step out just a little bit. Mm. Yeah, I don't want you to step out just too much because I know how much you can handle. Just step out a little bit. <laughs> Family, um, this stepping out or moving out, as I stated to you all before, amplifies his voice over the water so that the crowd can hear him better. Mm. And notice this, family. He sits down in the boat. I'm nosy again. I'm very nosy in a good way. Why would Jesus sit down in the boat? Can you just stand up 
and give your good sermon. I mean, you need to wear this thing out, Jesus. I mean, you need to close it. You need to do it. Stand up. Pull it. Yeah, stand up. But he sits down. He, All right, Pastor. He sits down. He, he does what I'm doing right now, sitting down. And sitting down was a common posture of a teacher. And watch this, y'all. The crowd will stand and listen as the teacher sits and teach. Mm. Now, family, um, we don't know how long Jesus talked. Um, you, you all know he was long-winded. Y'all remember the Sermon on the Mount? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> he had a whole lot to say, oh. didn't he? We don't know how long Jesus talked. We're not told the content of the message. But family, can y'all lean in close to this? I got a sneaky suspicion in the holy hunch that he launched this boat out not only for instruction, but I believe he launched this boat out for an illustration. Mm. <laughs> Look at verses um, four through nine. That's my second point, the illustration. Mm. And when he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, now go out where it is deeper. Oh, Virginia, about to get interesting. And let down your nets yes. to catch mm -hmm. some fish. Oh, y'all got to appreciate Simon Peter right here. Master, Simon replied. Y'all see him? He tired, y'all. He aggravated, irritated. We worked hard all last night and didn't catch a thing. But if you say so, I'll let the nets down again. And this time, their nets were so full of fish that they began to tear. And a shout for help brought their partners in the, in the other boat. And soon, both boats were filled with fish and on the verge of sinking. Mm. Mm. Y'all, uh, when Simon Peter realized what has happened, he fell to his knees before Jesus and said, Oh, Lord, please leave me. I'm such a sinful man. For he was <laughs> awestruck by the number of fish they had caught as, a, as were the others with him. Family, mm -hmm. Simon is instructed to let down their nets into deep water after Jesus had finished his instruction. It is important for us to analyze what Jesus is telling Peter to do. Notice, family, the Greek word that translate into English put out, watch this, is the singular tense is in the singular tense. And the your is in the command to let down your nets is in plural. I know you're probably saying, well, pastor, there you go again with the seminary education. Break it down for me. Here it is. This is not Jesus and Peter by themselves. Mm. They're on Peter's boat, but there's other fishermen on Peter's boat. Mm. Now, family, oh, Lady Q, I find it interesting because the boats, the typical fishing boat, y'all ready for this? was between 20 and 30 feet long. Mm. Mm -hmm. The plural tense of this tells us that Peter and his fishing crew are on the boat. And Jesus instructs Peter, who's in charge of directing and steering the boat, to take the boat out into deeper water. Family, um, watch this. Once they're out in deeper water, Jesus instructed the whole fishing crew to resume fishing. Mm. Everyone on the boat is to let down the massive fishing nets. And Jesus is saying in, eff in, eff in, in effort, Peter, let's go out into deep water and let's do some fishing. Mm -mm. Um, Virginia, I believe Peter was our color. I really do. Um, <laughs> this helps. This helps um, understand Peter's response. 
Here is Jesus, the carpenter, who ain't did no fishing. Mm. You the teacher, and you gonna tell a fishing crew how to do their job. You tell it, you, up, you the carpenter. You the carpenter. You build stuff. You ain't know nothing about fishing. Uh -huh. you know to hook, this huh? is like family, this is like me as the pastor going to Alaska and getting on the fishing boat and having the audacity to tell them how to do their fishing. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand, Peter. Yes, I do. I understand, Peter. The fishing crew just came in from their fishing trip. And it was unsuccessful. Mm. But I know um, you may be saying, well, mm, I know you may be saying, well, Jesus could have just told him to go fishing. And he, Peter should have just obeyed the Lord. Mm -hmm. That's good for some folks, but some of us got a hard time. We know the Lord, but we got a hard time following what he say do. All right, all right. Yeah. All right come on, y'all, come on. Let's be honest. How I many of y'all talk back to the Lord? Yeah. Lord, <laughs> yeah, this don't, this don't add up. This is not logical. <laughs> this, this, thing, this don't work, you understand. Come on, Pastor. Um, yes, you know. <laughs> this is the response of Peter. But Jane, can I read Peter's response and some color translation? This is the color uh, <laughs> translation. Um, Jesus, you're a carpenter. Mm. You build stuff and leave the fishing to us, the professional. <laughs> can I go on with this version? Master, so we worked hard <laughs> all night long. I'm irritated. I'm aggravated. I'm tired. And I'm cleaning these nets. And you mean to tell me, I've been cleaning these nets all this time. And you're going to tell me that I need to go out of deep water and you don't know nothing about fish. You tell me, go out of deep water. I'm in this boat. I fell in this place before. And you want me to go out and launch my nets. Uh, Peter is talking back. He's telling Jesus, oh, uh, you know what? This is not going to work. We already tried this. How many of us is like Peter? Lord, I don't see how this going to work. We tried this already. Family. And we have to appreciate the honesty of Peter. How many of y'all appreciate the honesty of Peter? Yeah. And family, I was reading some research, and I got aggravated with the research, y'all. Mm -hmm. And it's going to aggravate me even to mention it. <laughs> they said, how the nerve of Peter going to say something like that to Jesus? He should have been obedient. Y'all ain't that holy where you can just do whatever the Lord say do. Now, if you there, if you there, then you just there. Some of us ain't arrived to that point yet. Now, Peter said, okay, you want me to let these nets down? Uh, okay. At your word, family. He said, we're going to let these nets down. Now, notice this, family, that letting down the nets was a team effort. Mm. Watch this, family. He tells them, um, notice that he tells Peter and the fishermen, he does not say, Deacon Daryl, put out into the deep water and let's go fishing. Mm. Rather, Jesus said to put out into deep water, watch this, y'all, and let down your nets for a catch. Ooh, can y'all shout right here? He's saying <laughs> when you let your nets down, you're going to catch something. <laughs> woo, woo. Okay, y'all. He said when you do it again, mm, good God of mine, when you do it again, you're going to catch something. Now, Virginia, he's telling Peter and the rest of the boys, if you trust the process, you'll get the promise. Mm. Don't look at what happened last night. Woo! Look at what's about to happen uh, right now. 
right now. All right, all right. <laughs> Family, who here go? Put this in your notes, y'all. This this really blessed me. <clears throat> Jesus used a place of failure to teach Peter and the men on board to use their faith to receive a miracle. Mm. Mm. Family, watch this, y'all. Y'all ready to shout? They let down their nets. And Tim Jones, they caught so many fish until the nets began to tear. Here it is, family. Uh, God will bless us in such a way that you will need to call other people to get a share of your surplus. Mm, I told y'all. I told y'all. The Lord blessed us at Oasis Estates that we had to, yes, Lord, um, share the surplus. Y'all, it was so many fish that jumped in the boat that we had to call our people. Y'all come get some of this. Uh, we, can't, <laughs> we can't do nothing with all of this. Come get some of this fish. Pull your boat up to next to ours. Family. Um, aren't you glad that when the Lord blesses you, um, he will bless you so much so that you got to call some people. Y'all need to come get some of this. Ah! Y'all need to come get some of this blessing. Oh, yeah. And it's like Christmas, y'all. Christmas just don't happen in December 25th. Christmas happened for us each and every day. Mm. I mean, these boats, they had to call the boys and say, y'all come get some of this because the Lord will bless you in such a way, family, uh, that it will even cause your boats to almost uh, sink. Ooh, y'all. How many of y'all glad that the Lord will send some blessings in your boat and you got to oh, call God. some people? Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, can I put this right here, y'all? One man's oh, obedience yes. blesses many. Amen. One man's obedience and faith in God will bless many. Um, can I put this right here? You all, this, this ain't on my nose, but a good place to put it. Listen. We can have faith and express our feelings to God. Mm, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. We can ask, we can have faith and express our feelings to God. But watch this, family. Don't let your feelings let you doubt God. Mm. Amen. <laughs> yeah. After Peter got in his feelings, Virginia, he hurried up and got out of his feelings and he went back to faith. And said, okay, at your word, I'm going to let this net down. And family, when he let that net yeah. down and all those fish came in there, watch this, y'all. A place of faith has now caused him to be converted. Mm. Mm. Y'all, mm. while all these fish is in this boat, <laughs> Peter said, listen, I want to give my life to Christ right now. Woo! He said, listen. Uh, yeah. Sister Carol, I can hear the choir singing, come to Jesus, come to Jesus. And that's just what he did. Yeah, yeah that's right. See, I know y'all probably just said, okay. y'all went straight into a baptism fit right there. Amen. Look, y'all went in y'all baptism rolls right there. Y'all like, come now. You don't have to come right, right now. Mm-hmm, Peter. Got saved, y'all. Good job, Pastor. Uh, at a fishing trip. Mm. And y'all, can I put this right here? All of us on this Zoom call got saved at a hey, fishing trip. That's him. Amen. Look, it's one him. preacher, y'all, threw out a net, and we jumped in that net. <laughs> and ever since <laughs> then, y'all, we didn't want to get out of it because we've been caught hook, line, and sinker. Yeah. <laughs> it happened, y'all, at a fishing trip. Mm -mm. And listen, some of us, Dick and Daryl, was some cob. Yeah, you know, cob is bony fish. Just hard to reel in. Yeah. But he reeled us on in. Some of us was some big mouth bass. And some of us was some catfish. And whatever brand of fish you was, he caught you. Mm. Yeah, yeah, he caught it. Whether it was by a pole, whether it was by a net, whatever he used, he caught you. And aren't you glad that he caught you? Amen. Amen. Family, uh, 
we see the instruction and we see the illustration. But watch this, y'all. Verse 10 through 11, we see the invitation. Mm. Watch this. His partners, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, were also amazed. And Jesus replied to Simon, don't be afraid. From now on, you'll be fishing. Watch this, y'all, for people. And as soon as they landed, they left everything, good God Almighty, and followed Jesus. Now, family, this miracle, right, was a miracle, watch this, y'all, of provision, because now, family, they're able to eat and make some money. Mm. But Deacon Daryl, I saw some in the text, and I've seen this text for years, and I saw some. And I want to share with y'all. This was not only a miracle of provision, but this was a miracle of prophecy. Mm. Because Mm -hmm. watch this. He uses Simon Peter's boat. Mm. Simon Peter let down a net with the other fishermen, and a lot of fish came into Simon Peter's boat. Fast forward to Acts. Simon Peter used one sermon. And a whole lot of fish jumped in the boat. (laughs) 3,000 souls were saved. Mm. He's telling Simon Peter, I'm getting ready. I'm getting you ready now for your next. Ooh, Lady Q, you were so prophetic on your Facebook post. Yes, you was, boo. Um, Yeah. (laughs) Was getting getting ready uh, for his now. Um, for his next, y'all. Can I? Can y'all shout right here? Lord, get me ready now for my next. <laughs> yeah. Oh, in the pandemic, we should pray that prayer. Lord, get me ready now for my next. Oh, I feel that. Oh, Lady Q, you shall know that just rub me the right way. Lord, get us ready now for our next. And family, Amen. Uh, Jesus. Um, was telling them, y'all, in a sense, uh, Jesus, you are, I, I call the attitude of Jesus, y'all. Y'all go ahead, excuse me, I did. Um, because Jesus seems to ignore Peter's desperate confession of unworthiness. He seems like, okay, uh, I know you're unworthy, Peter, but uh, there's bigger things that need to be done. Wait, wait, I pulled out my heart. You like, I heard you. Uh, Jesus knows the truth about Peter, and that's why he didn't address it. Mm. He already knew how unworthy he was, and Jesus is saying, you all, watch this, uh, I am in the recycling business. <laughs> Peter, I know you're not worthy, but I'm going to make you worthy. Mm. Peter's pride, you all, had been removed, and now he was ready to serve the Lord. It's important to remember, family, that when we encounter Jesus, we will never be the same again. Can I say that again? When we encounter Jesus, we will never be the same again. Mm. How many of us can say, since I have encountered Jesus, I'm never the same again. Amen. Amen. Family, um, no matter how hard a person's heart may be, the closer they get to God, God can soften up their hearts. And they will not stay the same way. Family, God can use any one of us in our weakness, and he knows that we should not hide them. For Peter and the others following Christ, y'all, meant leaving behind their old lives. Mm. Y'all, how many of us can say, ooh, I'm so glad I met Jesus. I can leave my old life. Hallelujah. Mm, watch this, family. Um, The tendencies, uh, when they team seem to rise up, God, oh, yes, he can, tame the tendencies. Ooh, he can tame the temptations. 
to want to go back. Oh, no, no, we will not go back. We will move forward into deep water. Wow. Amen. They Ooh. gave up their boats, <laughs> their nets, and their livelihood. And so, Virginia, they followed Jesus without knowing where they was going. Mm -hmm. Lord. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y'all, mm -hmm. uh, family, let me put this here. Um, Virginia, Lady Q. I know y'all, y'all, I hear y'all. I hear y'all. Y'all talk very loud when it comes to sermon time. I hear y'all. Well, Pastor, you did good with this fishing trip. You took us fishing. We we had a nice time on the Sea of Galilee. You did well. Thank you very much. You, you illuminated the text. You exegeted. You did all that. Thank you very much. Now, what does this have to do with me? What does this have to do with us? Can you put a ball in? Here it is. I got one. The first step that we need to do is let go. Mm. Anything that hinders our walk with Christ and calls us to stop moving forward must go. Um, Virginia, you didn't know you was going to be in a sermon, but here it is. We must forgive <laughs> some folks. Mm. We must let some things go. We must let some things go. Ooh. How many witnesses on the side of my voice can just testify to this fact? Then when you let some things go and let some hard feelings go and let some people go, it frees you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Who can I put this right here? I know y'all going to say Alex right here like, who passed you? You was doing good till you got to here. Even some good things must go in order for better yeah, things to come. All right. Lord, remove the good things so some better things can come. Ooh, family. Ooh, I know y'all would say ouch. We can't have it both ouch. ways. Mm, we can't have ouch. it both ways. And family, yeah. <laughs> um, when um, we follow Jesus, we have to let Go of some things. And family, the second thing he tells us that we ought to apply to our lives. Here it is. Mm. Don't be afraid to try again. Mm. Don't be afraid to try again. Yeah, y'all need to put that in y'all notes. Don't be afraid to try again. Failure, mom, is not where you stop. But it's where you keep going. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, can I say that again? Failure is not where you stop, but where you keep going. Keep going. Yeah. God will give us what we need to try again. Ooh, listen, family, aren't you glad that at some points in your life you tried again and again and again, and the Lord allowed you to be successful? Yes, yes. And family, yes, we, do. we are to watch this family take God at his word. Mm. Take God at his word. Family, how many of us have taken God at his word? Mm. Watch this family. God will tell us Damn. to do some things. Watch this, y'all, that will not make sense to us. <laughs> but we have to do it. Yes. yes and when yes. we take God at his word, it will be a blessing uh, to us. Yes. How many witnesses yes, I yes. have that would agree right here that taking God at his word will pay off each. Yes. 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 Amen. And finally, family, <clears throat> when God blesses us with overflow. Mm, when God blesses us with surplus, don't be afraid, yes, to call others, yeah, to get a portion of it. Mm. Amen. One person's faith can be the reason others are blessed. All right. So family, he's telling us that we are to move 
into the deep end. Follow his instruction. And when we follow his instruction, family, then we will see an illustration of that. And when we see an illustration of that, he's inviting us to follow him and give our all to him. So Sinai family, how many of us is ready, you all, to get out of the shadow end and let's ride to the deep end to see what God has in store for us. Amen. 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 Uh, This is the word of God for the people of God. Amen. 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 Family, look, it looks like we are all saved. Amen. Listen. Yes, we are. How many of you all saved and glad about it? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. We thank God. Amen. 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 Amen.